Next up is a very, very close friend of Blockdown. She's been with us, I think, maybe from the beginning. Always and forever. She was in Croatia. She's now here in the Algarve, Portugal. Please put your hands together for our good friend doing a talk called Disrupting the Film Financing, Film Financing with NFTs. Put your hands together for our friend Lisa Edwards. Hey, everyone. Oops. So um, I'm going to talk to you today about disrupting film financing with NFTs. So Hollywood and Bollywood and those sort of industries have been so tightly fit with funding and the way it is structured for such a long time. Um, coming in with NFTs is a very easy way to disrupt that, to allow liquid investment in the industry. So basically, um, when we look at uh, crowdfunding like Seed and Spark and Kickstarter and those sort of industries within the film funding sort of uh, area, we see that uh, Seed and Spark alone boasted a huge $38 million revenue with just fees of 5 to 10% of those transactions going through from the film funding. So by doing this with Coin Runners Movie, what we aim to do is basically create a series of NFTs that are like around the film, so that each NFT is uh, an individual uh, storyboard image, and uh, that then goes in as memorabilia. And with every NFT, um, this is what one of them looks like. So we're disrupting the business to crowdfunding market. So how film funding works is basically an investor comes in, they say, okay, I'm going to give you, say, $100,000. And that $100,000 is locked in. So that can't be moved. It can't be, like, transferred within that period while the movie's being made. And you just hope that that movie makes money. And then you'll get the royalties and the, the profit share from that movie. So what we aim to do is basically take that funding model, put it into NFTs, and we've written the contract with the NFT having the profit share within. So once it goes through to cinemas, to Netflix, to down that, that, that pay waterfall, um, that profit is then moved into the NFT. So. Um, it allows the creativity and the money to stay with the artists and with the producers making the film. So, and then the people that are investing in it are able to like transfer those NFTs and they're able to like say, you know, you never know what tomorrow brings and that next person might go, okay, I don't need this NFT, I need some money. And it makes it a liquid market so you can then on sell that and the rights and the profit share are moved on with those NFTs. So creating that liquidity with the market. It also creates that liquidity with the five to 10% sort of profit share going in for those sales of those NFTs. And, and that becomes a marketing platform for the funds, for the film. So you've not only got the film funding with the NFTs, you have the marketing aspect going in with the after sales of and the transfers of the NFTs. So how this film funding model works is, uh, so it pr provides a seamless platform. So um, it's really important to consider the regulatory, uh, especially in the industry at the moment. So those regulatory um, implications surrounding the transfer of ownership and that sort of thing. And uh, so what we've done is we've employed entertainment lawyers and they've looked at all of that. And so basically those are written into that NFT. So the ownership model and everything like that is written into those NFTs. So you know that once this film is made, you're going, and it makes profits, you're going to make uh, the profit share direct to your NFT wallet. So the exciting thing about this as well is for crypto, for NFT adoption to be seamless, it needs to be, um, it needs to have that uh, ability for an everyday person to come into the market 
for them to not know that they're investing in an NFT, to not know that they're using crypto. So what we've done with the NFT, you can come once we're about to launch in about two weeks. So when you come to the platform, you can either buy with crypto or you can use your credit card. So, and that then mints the NFT, puts it directly into a wallet, sends you an email and you can access it that way. You can also move it and to your own wallet if you have that knowledge. But for somebody that doesn't have the knowledge, they are then able to own an NFT, have those royalties paid to it, and there's an on and off ramp for those, uh, that profit share. So this is basically the model, um, and it, it shows you when you buy one of the NFTs, you go into the profit share entitlement. So, you know, buy a mints more, they get more perks. So there's also the, uh, the structure where you're going to the Kickstarter and those sort of platforms, Indiegogo, and looking at how you can collect different things and put those together to get perks. So walk on roles in the movie, uh, a line in the movie. Maybe your brand um, on stage in one of the scenes. So uh, we're also o uh, offering the uh, opening scene of the movie. So, and that can be rewritten for somebody that wants to buy these NFTs. So there's so many different ways of disrupting that film financing and uh, moving this forward so it's a more liquid market. So basically film financing works with equity investment. So the executive producer comes in, hands you the money, and then that is absolutely locked. It can't be taken out. So those contracts, contracts are airtight and uh, once that film is produced, that's when that money is distributed. But until that point, it's like it's, it has been quite hard and difficult for executive producers to get that money flow. So, um, like I said earlier, with that, um, it's made up into the incentive. Uh, it's exactly like a traditional film is, so you've got your incentives, Depending on where you are filming, your location offsets, uh, federal grants, and that sort of thing. And that goes all into the budget and offsets against the profit share that is coming back in this film. So this is a, a, a standard return on investment template um, looking at any film that's produced in Hollywood. So um, a low budget film will generally create a 6% return. So uh, with NFTs and with that uh, liquid ability to transfer them, you could get a greater return. If the, if the movie signs a huge big star, uh, that creates a dynamic marketplace where people want to buy those NFTs and uh, the prices with supply and demand can rise. So, and that's what uh, the NFTs are able to change within the film industry. So yeah, so, um, so yeah, so basically, Coin Runners. This is uh, all the drawings we had a, a Hollywood storyboard artist draw everything. So for those that know about crypto, this is the Wall Street cheat sheet, and. Um, that is written into the film. So basically the Coin Runners film is a huge advertisement for the crypto industry. The screenplay itself has won 23 awards and uh, we're really excited to bring this NFT film funding and structure to Hollywood, to Bollywood and to um, any film that really wants to use it. So yeah, thank you.